crusades, bubonic plague, can't say that it really makes up. So dark and barbaric, so dull and mundane, that was so believed that was so Charlemagne. Welcome to the Renaissance with poets, painters, and bonnets, and merry minstrels who stroll the streets of London, a strong in pocket pants and pointy leather. Welcome to the Renaissance. We who and argue and argue doubts. We're so progressive, the latest and the greatest. We bring it to you with much ado. Blood and love you 
find. Seek now thy own succor and flee thy native land. To die today will not be done till dawn. Da 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 da. Who talks like this? <laughs> Nigel, why can't we just write like we speak? Yeah, I haven't gotten a single word over the last three plays. Did I miss my cue? Well, Robin, what are you wearing? This isn't dress rehearsal. Oh, I thought it might help me get into character if I was to wear dresses and go into taverns and flirt with men. You know, for research. <laughs> Nick, I have a question about motivation. Yes. Why haven't you given up yet? Peter, <laughs> this one is working. I can feel it. It's just missing something. Right, I can't hear her. Nigh, tell me out. I did write something in my notebook last night. Yeah. Uh, I thought it would be good if King Richard is contemplating his own mortality. Uh, but now I said it out loud, it sounds Well, scary. let me read it. It's probably terrible. Let me see. <laughs> oh, God, it's bad, isn't it? I don't, I don't even know why you let me write with you. Hey, hey, Nigel. This is good. Yeah. Yeah, this is really good. Well, for a while, maybe. How about this? Okay, you said a Oh, that's better. Good one, brother. Okay, okay, everyone to your places. Let's try this. <clears throat> Let us speak now of worms, of graves, of epitaphs. Make dust our paper, and with rainy eyes, write sorrow on the bosom of the earth. Yes! Oh, gosh! I don't know about you, but I'm starting to believe that this is going to be the Bottom Brothers' first big hit. Pity we'd have to shut it down. Lord Clackham, what do you mean, shut it down? Guess whose next production is going to be the tragedy of Richard II. Shakespeare? But he just did Richard III. Who goes back once? He breaks convention. <laughs> That's why he's so great. Oh, yeah? Did you see Romeo and Juliet? What's so good about you lovers who kill themselves in the end? Oh, oh you spoiled it. I was going to see it this evening. You <laughs> should. It's life-changing. Is it? Love you. Stab myself. Drink poison. Oh, yeah. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh, you're ruining everything. Now, I paid for an original play, and you will lose my patronage, do you hear? No more money unless I hear a new idea on the morrow. I think that means tomorrow. Uh, Lord Clapham, please, write something original, like the Bard. The Bard. The Bard. Why? Why is he the Bard? He is a Bard, just like I'm a Bard. You're a Bard. He is just one of the Bards. So he's the Bard because he does it all. He's in histories, tragedies, comedies. Comedy. Name one thing of his that's funny. Give me a one. Anything. On my word, we'll not carry coals, for then we should be coal eaters. <laughs> <laughs> that's not funny. Oh, God, I hate Shakespeare. That's right, I said it. No, I do. I hate Shakespeare. I just don't get it. How a mediocre actor from a measly little town suddenly the brightest drew an English royal crown. Oh, God, I hate Shakespeare. His plays are wordy, but oh no, the great Shakespeare. That little turd, he has no sense about the audience. He makes them feel so dumb. The bastard doesn't care that my poor ass is getting numb. How can you say that? How can you say that? It's easy, I can say it's because it's absolutely true. Don't be a penis, the man is a genius. He's genius, he's fooling all of you. But he's brilliant, what majesty flows from his pen. His poetry soars like a sweet violin. God's own inspiration, like lightning, doth strike him, and he captures my soul. Jeez, you sound just like him. Really? Thanks. <laughs> you should hate Shakespeare. Uh, well, I don't. I try to emulate Shakespeare. Well, there's your problem. You're so blinded by the bar. You're such a pompous little man. Why is it a problem to admit that I'm a fan? Because he's a hack with a knack for stealing anything he can. How can you say that? How can you say that the man really knows how to write a bitch and play? You wish you could pen one. We wish we were in one. I just wish that he would go away. Well, that's not going to happen because everyone I know says he's the greatest writer England's ever known. <laughs> And that's another thing I hate about Shakespeare is all the twits who blow me about Shakespeare and how they prattle on about his great accomplishments. Well, la di da di da. And once they start their gushing, there's no stopping them. And then it's la da 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 Shakespeare. And he walks in, it's dum da dum da da Shakespeare. He's told the court that they say Will is such a genius and can write in his own mind. A rose by any other name is such a clever line. And they're all, ooh, and he's all strong. And they're all, yay! And I'm all, oh. I'm sick of it. Go away. Oh, I hate Shakespeare. I think by now we sort of know you hate Shakespeare. Shakespeare.
here when he fakes humility, when all he does is gloat. The way he wears that silly frilly collar around his throat. The poster child for why no one should ever procreate. Let me make a shorter list and I will get a ticket straight. Every little thing about Shakespeare, here's what I hate. Get a job. 
job, that would just make me feel like a failure. None of the other writers' wives have jobs. Well, they should. This is the 90s. We've got a woman on the throne. And by the year 1600, women will be completely equal to men. <laughs> but I just thought of the perfect job for me. I could be in your play. No, you can't act. <laughs> no, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I did not mean to. Gotcha! See ya. Can act. You know, it is illegal to put women on stage. In many ways, our plays been canceled. What? No, 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 not, not canceled. Knives. That's such a negative way of putting it. <laughs> we are no longer doing Richard II, but that is only because we have come up with a better idea. Uh, ooh, uh, what is it? I can't say. You don't want to jinx it. So there is no idea. Well, we had the idea. Then we need an idea. <laughs> Let me help you. I'll go out and earn some money and that'll take the pressure off you guys. See? Listen. No, you listen. Because I just want to make things better. And I need to know that you understand. If you ever got in trouble, I would be there on the double just to bail you out. If there's anything you lack, you know I've always got your back. That's what it's all about. Think of me as a sidekick, helping you whenever I can. I'm more than just a woman, baby. When the pressure's coming, maybe let me be your right hand man. Like, you're not the man. I'm the man. Uh, God, I hate Shakespeare, but when 
I sit and really contemplate Shakespeare. I guess I hate the fact that he is everything I ever dreamed that I could be. I mostly hate the way he makes me feel about me. Because the truth is, it wouldn't be that bad to be Shakespeare. In fact, I'd give my left nad to be Shakespeare. <laughs> only have a tiny little smidgen of his notoriety. It would relieve me of the pressures and responsibility. I've got to make it happen. Got to find that pot of gold. If there was just some way to know just what the future holds. Stage fights and a dazzling glory. Sue, wanna be great? Did you get a creed? 
have to do the end of the song all over again. Five, six, seven, eight. Take it from me. I'm fucking the sea.
So Shakespeare would never do something this bold. Because it's a terrible idea. You'll make me look ridiculous. Well, it may seem that way, but I can guarantee you everyone will love it. Nick and Nigel Bottom. Almost everyone. Uh, Brother Jeremiah, to whom do we owe the pleasure? Pleasure is a sin. <laughs> As is music, which I have heard emanating from this den of iniquity. Den of iniquity? Well, what makes you say that? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> As if the theater wasn't heinous enough, you now added music, which leads to dancing, which stirs the loins of our most lustful desires, which is why we see the theater is pulled down. As a magistrate, I have much influence with the master of the justice. And let me tell you, Nick Bottom, if you continue promoting this, this filth and debauchery, I will see you tied to a post, begging for mercy! Good day, sir. <laughs> okay, that's it. I'm out. What, what, no, what's happened? Please! I, I am sorry, gentlemen, but these religious nutters frighten me. I must withdraw my patronage. Good day. Wait, no, Lord Tottenham, please, go! Ah, I do not believe you just let that happen. You were a terrible reaper. Your reaping was cracked! If we had better dresses, this would not have happened. My reaping was superb. Take that back! You were not a great reaper. You were more like the stupid reaper. Okay, okay, everyone, please just calm down. I'm on. We just lost our patronage. Oh, this is bad. This is really oh, bad. Breathe. Breathe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Walk it off. Watch it, Dr. Jit. Sorry, sir. Beg your pardon. Yes, your sonnet, it has 
Shakespearean sophistication mixed with the complexity of Webster and the sensitivity of Samuel Daniel. Wow, you really love poetry. Oh, I do. I really, really do. I love Sidney and Marlowe, and often I borrow their words to express how I feel. I love poems of mystery, fantasy, history. Oh, what seductive appeal. At night, alone in my bedroom, satisfying my need. The candlelight fire ignites my desire.
Very nice. Let me hear you sing now. It's now. It's that stands. Let me hear you sing now. It's the. Now it's the. Oh, do it with me. Now it's the winter of our discontent. Now it's the winter of our discontent. Make glorious summer by the sun of York. Make glorious summer by the sun of York. Let me hear you sing glorious. Glorious.
Better get to it. No, 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 no. You go home and rest. Thanks. I love you, Will. Love you, too. Hear me now, sinner! 
You dare cross me, Ingrot, my daughter? So help me God, I will smite these bottoms and smite them hard. <laughs> Come with me. I knew you'd be back. Really? No, but it sounds impressive, doesn't it? How goes it with your musical? Not great, actually. We're having a hard time figuring out what a musical should be about. Hair. Hair? <laughs> no, that would just be weird, wouldn't it? Wait. Little Shop of Horrors. Oh, that sounds little. I know. Why is the shop little? Small whores? No, but the truth is, I know little less for it. I need an idea that is guaranteed to be a success. One that I'll have them line up around the theater. So I want you to look into the future and tell me what will Shakespeare's greatest play be? Are you sure you want to do that? Wouldn't you rather just come up with your own idea? Of course I would. I've tried. I, I, I can't. OK, maybe if I had more time or less Pressure, but I just need one, one hit to get me out of this hole. Well, I must warn you, for this you will pay a great price. About every penny I own. Well, that's not what I meant, but OK. You know what? I've got a lot of writing on this now. And now I've got a baby on the way. Which I predicted, remember? A new life with no teeth. <laughs> Stand back. I see it. Shakespeare's greatest play. Yes. The one they'll be talking about for generations to come. Yes, yes. And this play will be called Omelet. <laughs> Omelet? Like with the egg? Yes. No. Wait. Yes, that's it. Omelet. And wait. Something Danish. <laughs> yes. And so wait. So there's a breakfast here. <laughs> yes, yes. And ham. Ham. Ham, 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 something. Ham. Oh, that must be it. And you're sure it'll be big? It'll perhaps be known as the single greatest play ever written. Yes! I'm getting a flood of images, so many. We'll write them down, all of them. Let me get my quill. Oh, this is going to solve so many problems. My future's suddenly looking a lot brighter. No more Mr. Anonymous. No more world that is Nick Bottomless. My name will be synonymous with being on the top. Yeah. 
The jocks and hey, the Shirley Dolphin jest. I say on my honor here, I drop the protest. No, I'm pining cover. That's not 1580s. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, if you want to make it to the top, then you're gonna have to get through me. Cause on the top is with a leaf, and I will not be giving up that easily. So then, oh man, I have been waiting for this moment for so long. But I can draw you when I knock you off your perch. Oh no, you won't. Oh yes, I will. Oh no, you won't. Oh yes, I will. Oh no, you won't. Oh yes, I will. Oh no, you won't. My accomplishments are much more accomplished than yours. And your feet. I am the best. You can't be the best because I am the best. I am rich and for place of each one is a testament to my great skill. I am the will. And I were tuning in off the street and rich, three and rich to chip and hand is more than five and six. And Thomas and Dragus. And oh, did I forget <laughs> Romeo and Juliet. <sighs> well, I have just written the thing that the critics are calling the greatest thing they've ever seen. The people are loving it, can't get enough of it. Everyone, even including the Queen, she recently invited me to her castle where she knighted me. And privately, she told me that you're not any good, not any good, not any good, not any good. And she told me that all of your plays make her vomit, and nothing's as good as my musical omelet. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know how I'll do it. There's only so much of me to go around. 
around. I got so many facts and many demands. I got to go take a piss. Be a theater freak of the autograph secret. I want a piece of this. Give me, give me. It's a cross that I bear. I'm like, Jesus, I swear it's a burden. But I suffer through it. It's all part of the game. The traffic's a flame. But somebody's going to do it. So I know, I know. I got to go. I'm going get back to my pen and ain't. Right, right, right. Your place, everyone. 
Watch and weep, Shakespeare. Watch and weep. <laughs> Neither does your brother. 
Ooh, does that make us star-crossed? <laughs> wait, 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 that's not good. We both know how that story ends with you drinking poison and me with a dagger in my heart. <laughs> maybe, maybe it doesn't have to. Maybe we can write a new ending. I'm tired of listening to that same sad story. How lovers fail because it's written in the stars. That beauty family plot is starting to bore me. I'm thinking we can tell them that's not who we are. It may take a little more persuading for those who think it's better that we are apart. I have no doubt their tents will soon be fading. We'll show them how true love finds a way. Even though Silence! <laughs> 
You will tend my daughter no more. She'll be loved in the church tower, and there she will stay until her exile to our brethren in Scotland. No! Portia! Right, but you feel my children. I will, I promise. I love you! And I will. I am warning you, boy. Leave her be, or you will pay dearly. Portia! <laughs> Oh, what good is living when life is so cruel? And my destiny is to be fortune's fool. If my pen be my one and my only companion, let it speak for my soul. Let it speak for my soul. Sure as the day follows the night, sure as the sky turns to blue. This much I know, this much is true. Above all else in whatever you do, to thine own self be true. I'm still working out the final details, but let's take it from the prince's soliloquy. Uh, Edith, please. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether tis nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles. This is really good stuff, mate. Eh? Uh, yeah, let's keep going, uh, Robin, from your entrance. Oh, that this too solid flesh shall melt, thaw, and resolve itself into a dew. Frailty thy name is woman, get thee to a nunnery. Hold thy tongue, fair prince. The lady doth to protest too much, methinks. Um, what the hell? Nick, your little brother has written something truly amazing. It's better than Shakespeare. Um, is it? <laughs> you wrote something and didn't run it by me, Nick. Listen, you gave me all these insane ideas, and I took ones that actually made sense and wrote something that reads true in here. Oh, God, please don't do that. Please. Please, just listen. It's about a prince, and he's not eating a Danish. He is Danish. And he's filled with sorrow for a great loss. And He's so depressed that he wants to kill himself, but he can't even make his mind up about that. And then his true love is forced into religious ex exile, where she probably dies of a broken heart. And then he descends into madness, and, and he dies, and everyone dies, and the whole stage is covered in bodies, and, and blood, and death, and, and the rest is silence. They're all left to die, to sleep for chance, to sleep, to dream. That's the great idea. <laughs> Well, it has nothing to do with eggs. <laughs> oh, that's the problem. Well, why don't I uh, yeah, pull the... Nick, uh, I'm worried you aren't thinking clearly here. Read it. I think it's good. Yeah, yeah, I am reading. And where's the omelet? There is no omelet. What do you mean there's no omelet? There has to be an omelet. Why? Because it's called omelet. Why does it have to be called omelet? It just does, okay? This is hopeless. He, he's not listening to me. Just read him what you wrote. It I'll doesn't matter. He won't listen. But they take these people, this one's ugly. Oh, just read it. Fine. Nick, something happened last night. And I promised to write what I feel, and well, here it is. Sure as the day follows the night, sure as the sky turns to blue, this much I know, this much is true. Above all else in whatever you do, to thine own self be true. I love that. It's like a good line and good advice. Oh, and uh, I thought the breakfast thing was really strong. Everyone loves breakfast. Exactly. But there's no ham, there's no Danish. You're completely ignoring the theme. I'm ignoring the breakfast theme because it's ridiculous. Oh, oh, so my idea is wrong and this whole true to yourself thing is right. It's not just a line, it's what I believe. Well, then you're a fool and very naive to think it's as simple as that. Well, I do. Okay, well, I don't. This is hopeless. You should really listen, Nick. It just makes your heart want to soar.
finally has a good idea. And I can guarantee you it'll be known as perhaps one of the single greatest plays ever written. How can you possibly know that? I just do. Now we open in a week. Are you going to help me write Omelette or not? No. No. No, I can't. It doesn't feel right. And deep down, I don't think it feels right to you either. Well, that must be great to always do what you feel, because you have no one to look after but yourself. And that is why I never wanted to do that sappy brother who carried you from Cornwall story, because I am still carrying you, and I'm sick of it. Why don't I just get off your back? <sighs> Nick, Nick, there you are. I have news on your musical, Omelette. We're not selling any tickets. Because we've sold out. They've lined up around the block. What audiences will be lining up to see? I told ya. So what'll it be, guys? Do you want to be in something creative and artistic? Yes. 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 Or do you want to be in a massive hit and actually make some money? <laughs> so let's give them what they're hungry for. I'm with the musical. We're on our way to glory. We'll play for kings and queens. And here and then they'll see the end. will justify the me. whilst others write good words. Good line, like, yeah, because I can read it. Shakespeare did. All right, <laughs> Shakespeare, you really admire him, don't you? I will, uh, I'll leave you in peace, then. Oh, Portia, I, I did what you said, and, and look what happened. Ha, Nigel, it's Will. How's the fancy meeting you here? What a complete and utter coincidence. <laughs> is that the Bottom Brothers new play? This is just something I tried writing on my own. May I? Sure. When sorrows come, they come not in single spires, but in battalions. God. Oh, God, is that bad? No. No. It's just to be or not to be. What a piece of work is man. It's a lot of cliches, Nigel. Really? That's been done? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and as your friend, I will go over these pages and see if there's anything here that can be salvaged, but I don't want to see this with your name on it. <laughs> but that musical, Omelet, I've told everyone I know that they simply must go and see it. But it, it's so bold, daring. Yes, a lesser writer would shy away, would you? Write your Omelet, not this that. <laughs> Forget this, right? <laughs> right your arm. Right your arm. Oh my god. So we get any weird pregnancy craving. Oh, Nigel, the lady just threw me a party and gave me the sweetest gifts for the baby. Look what Helena gave me to help the baby sleep. Whiskey! <laughs> Isn't that thoughtful? And Miranda gave me this to help with the delivery. It's a stick to bite on. It's gonna hurt. <laughs> anyway, how's the show going? You'd have to ask Nick. I'll catch up with you later. <laughs> What's wrong? Me and Nick got into a big fight, and, and he said some things. Said he was carrying. Oh no. Yeah, it really hurt, and I'm starting to think 
maybe we shouldn't write together anymore? Aha. Uh -huh. Do you know the poem, Love is a Boatload of Work? No. <laughs> because poets never write about what love is actually like. Start being married for 10 years. It's not all summer stays and sweet smelling roses. It's more like, shall I compare thee to a horse's ass? <laughs> Look, I'll admit, I've never seen him like this. He's under a lot of pressure doing some really stupid things. Like keeping things to himself, saying hurtful things, and stealing all of our money from the money box. What? Yeah, still trying to, trying to figure out how that love poem's gonna end. But you know what stops us from walking out on him? I think it's because you know, like I know. If you ever got in trouble, he would be there, only trouble just to get you out. If there's anything you lack, you know he's always got your back. That's what he's Yes. Well, 
viendo no web. The wedding breakfast, he said. My father knew me dead, and the funeral royal neighbors coldly furnished forth the marriage table. Methinks another chef might have whisked our desperate eggs together as one. Pray, nephew, what will the be? Well, I'll tell you. The fruit of life can always taste like sweet persimmons. Sometimes it's hard to swallow, I'm afraid. But when life is handing you some lemons, then hand it back a mug of lemonade. My father said this to me, that he did, and then he blew me away with wisdom, simple and concise. He said, Egbert, life is merely what you make of it. So hear this sound that buys. You make wine from sour grapes. You got a flat and a gay Call it a great plan of life. Give you eggs, make an omelet. You get cola from a nut. A dirty worm gets silk from out of his butt. Man alive, give you eggs, make an omelet, omelet. A solution to your troubles. It's cheese and vegetables and bacon, bacon, omelet. Yeah! When it looks like you should quit, find another way to look at it. Man alive.
Baptist, there be nothing to it. Simple truth. Uh, uh, question. Fair Uncle Scar, <laughs> why dost thou speakest when thou shouldest speakest? <laughs> because I want to know, how canst thou make an omelet when one of the eggs be rotten? Huh. And therein lies the rub. The rotten one is you. Toby? Or not to be. <laughs> Love the questions. Will? Shakespeare? You little snake! <laughs> and you said I was a crap actor. Jack and Matt, let you make an ass of me! No, no, me, you've done a fine job of that on your own. Nick, what's going on? Allow me, since Master Bottom's flaws are hard to follow. This man is a soothsayer. And he was hired by this man, who paid him to look into the future and steal my greatest idea. Though I can't believe I've come up with this crap. Nick, this is true. I, I, I can explain. You lied to me? No, you don't understand. No, I don't. <gasps> well, my work is done. Nice try, Nick. Yeah, that just happened. <laughs> I could have told you this was going to happen, but you never would have listened to me. <laughs> you said I would have to pay you great price. Yeah. Now I have to pay you.
Well, that is very touching, but the law demands beheading, and nothing can change that. Or can it? The defense calls Master William Shakespeare! Hi, hi, oh, hi, lovely, hi, hey. <laughs> If it please the court. Oh, the court is very pleased. <laughs> words without thoughts never to heaven go. Yeah. I love how he puts words in the wrong order. The quality of mercy is not strained. It droppeth as a gentle rain from heaven. It's good because he entertains, but he makes you think as well. <laughs> but if a merciful ending is not written here tonight, then I shall replay these events with these characters and thee at thy bench. Then shall I see fair justice stop. Are you saying you might write a play about this with me as a character? Well, I wouldn't want to look like a fool. And you shan't go full, sir, not if you spare their lives and see these mischief makers vanishing. Send them off this royal throne of kings, this sceptered isle, this blessed plot, this earth, this realm, this England. That is so much more elegant than beheading. I agree. Defendants, I sentence you to be banished. Transported on the first ship to the New World, and take your so-called musicals with you. Oh, 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 yes! <laughs> You're welcome. For what? All those lines were from my pages. You're just getting this out of the way so you can steal my ideas. Getting beheaded would have been out of the way as well. No, the world is better with you in it, just not my world. Besides, this amazing woman and impressive actor persuaded me to make it stand for free speech today. Yeah, I'd say you got about 20 free speeches. Oh, let it go, Nick. All's well, then ends well. Good line. Stop giving me my stuff! <laughs> Good night, sweet prince and flights of angels. Do something. Exit Shakespeare. <laughs> I sent you away! And I'm going, but not before I say goodbye. Very well. I will allow it. It pains the heart to say I do. But alas, the time has come. Goodbye, Father. What? The good man's children shall be prosperous in the wilderness. Psalms 112. You have your poets, and I will have mine. What? No! Oh, God damn it! Just what we will write. Ladies and gentlemen, Shylock Entertainment, in association with Pilgrim Productions, presents the Bottom Brothers and their touching life story.
Feldman. They say it's his masterpiece. Well, what's it called? Hamlet. Hamlet. I was this close. <laughs>